A very good afternoon to you. Welcome to the Wolfson Stadium in Port Elizabeth. It is a game here between Zambia and Uganda. Zambia looking for their fourth third place a finish in a tournament. Very tight match it is now. Here comes Zambia now, blustering forward. Here's a good run we made into the penalty. The Banda gets the ball. Banda shoots straight to the goalkeeper. But Natura, you know, wonderful run, but what a wonderful squared ball. Resty towards the penalty here, a chance in for a shot. That's a good defending from Tembo. To the line for Uganda. And the ball still bouncing around, and the referees come and called it. He put under pressure there. So Julia had just been pushed from behind there, and uh, Loshumo. Loshomo is the one that pushed down Juliet. It is going to be Hazel Nali up against Tracy Jones Akiro for Uganda. It is the captain of Uganda up against uh, the number one keeper for the Zambians. Yes, Tracy throws it home near side and 1 0 to Uganda. Points to the heaven, a second goal of a tournament, five starts for her. Nakulenge, tricky customer. And picked up the sport. The goalkeeper gets right. But the height and the pace, second to none. Pick a sport, power behind the ball. What a cool finish. Uh, Mr. Batabaira himself. You know, when I went to the dressing room, it was all about, you know, what you tell these young ladies. Yes, Banda now. Oh, pulls it wide. Have a look at this here. The defense stand for the first time, fell asleep, and Banda stayed on her feet even though she was challenged for the ball. And she, the idea was great. She was trying to go far post. There was nothing wrong with what she did there. She just dragged it wise. You also have to keep credit to Ruth. Uh, I'll, I'll have, I would, I'll prefer her trying to keep a little bit the field wide up, to stay a little bit wide and make sure she can have the opening. There's Banda in the penalty area. Cut the ball back. Ooh. Kunda Nanji puts that one wide. The same player, Barbara Banda, carrying this team <laughs> on her shoulders, uh, running her socks off, uh, delivering those balls. No, if it's not for her missing, uh, she delivered it. We don't take a look at that ball away. And that will be a corner taken quickly now. Mwakapila! Straight to the goalkeeper. Alive for Chewe, second bite, and this one cleared away. Alive again into the penalty. The header coming in once again. A beautiful save, and this one goes wide. Corner kick will be to the Zambians. Header and beautiful save by the goalkeeper. They're still not cleared yet. They had to finally get the ball out. Now here comes on the far side Kunda Nanji in the penalty area. Kunda Nanji still going. Oh, what a save by the goalkeeper. Atori going down on the left hand side and very quickly down. She did everything right. Here they are on the far side. It's a long ball played in this time. Keep over line. And just dipping over the crossbar from Belemu. Almost caught the keeper all day. The Zambians in the second half with the wind supporting it. Few seconds uh, minimum time from the referee. Long ball sent into the near side of Philip. Before we can do much, and the referee, a corner, Makalima, blows a whistle once, twice, and thrice. And Farida Bulega and company have managed to come out here and get themselves a bronze medal, winning by one goal to a penalty converted. By Akiro, the captain of uh, the Ugandans, as you can see now, down on the knees and knows that they've done it. They said they wanted competition and challenge, and they wanted to play Zambia, they wanted to play Cameroon, they wanted to play South Africa, they played all the three nations that are going to the AFCON. They know what they can do going forward. They have a very young squad, they've learned a lot, and I tell you, the future is bright when you look at what you have seen here so far in Ugandan football.